Hi teachers, the purpose of this video is to walk you through day five of week four of the unit engaging with our community and let you know what the different elements of the lesson will be and how it will flow throughout the session, as well as how you can maybe differentiate throughout the session for your students. So on day five, students are writing a persuasive letter or email to local politicians and political figures about an issue affecting their community. And it's all going to be based off of the previous four sessions, looking at the community health profiles and analyzing that data to understand the conditions in their neighborhoods. So just like other day five sessions, there is a similar structure. You'll start with a review of what was learned the previous four sessions, then an activation activity, and then models and multiple scaffolds that are going to lead up to the final, pro the final project. And students should be able to access this, um, this assignment easily because it will all culminate in the next week's day five as well. So let's go through each of these slides and just review how this can be presented and possibly differentiated. So with the introduction, reviewing the essential question, how do communities evidence and overcome inequities? And you may want to um, review the term inequities that has been a vocabulary, uh, a focus vocabulary for the past few sessions. Then you'll go with the students and um, through an explanation of what they're going to do, a brief explanation. And then whatever routine you have with your lesson objectives, whether it could be having students read them out loud or you read to them and unpack any part that needs clarification. On the next slide is the review of what was learned the week um, prior. So again, you have lesson objectives here that you can review with the students to refresh their memory. You also have below the links to the different texts that were used throughout the week and here your academic vocabulary as well with links to um, websites with definitions of the words. So again, a page that you can quickly review with the students to remind them what was learned this previous week over the past few sessions leading up to today. So next is the activation activity, which is our C think, I'm um, sorry, C remember and wonder exercise. The students, as you can see, are looking at little screenshots from their previous sessions, different moments in those lessons um, to remind themselves again what they did throughout the week. So you have here the sentence starters for the students. These are part of the routine at this point for the see, remember, wonder. Um, so this could help students begin to express in their writing or in their speaking what they're seeing, what they're remembering, and what they're wondering. One possible way to differentiate that you've done previously is to have an example. So here's one that I drew up in the images. I see parts of our lessons. I remember that we learned about different communities, etc. So again, you have a model here. You can present this to students before they begin to um, complete the see, remember, wonder, uh, see, remember, wonder exercise independently, or you could present it to them when they share their own ideas for the discussion after they've had a chance to complete that. But it provides, again, a model for the students to give them a good, clear example of what they're aiming towards with um, the see, remember, and wonder exercise in the activation part. So in the next page, you'll find a model to present to the students, and you can let them know that this on the right side is a model of what they're going to create, which is an outline today, an outline of their letter or email. Instead of doing the entire email or letter, email or letter, they're just going to outline the different components. You may want to do a um, brief explanation here of what an outline means, and there's a definition on the slide as, um, as well here. Again, the important part on this slide is turning their focus to the model, so again, they can visualize and imagine what it is that they're working towards. The next uh, page will be the beginning of their scaffolding. They're going to use this page to think about which topic from the community health profiles they want to discuss. You'll have a link here to the community health profiles. If you click it, it'll take you to the list that students can find their community health profiles on. And then you can speak with them about the different categories, the different issues that they have been analyzing throughout the week and prompt them to think about which one has been the most interesting to them, the most engaging. That would probably be the one that they'd want to write about for their persuasive letter or email. 
And then here you'll see in the green box, you have another sentence frame to help them write an identification of what their topic of interest will be. So students can use this again to express what they are choosing for their final topic. And then finally, from there, you have the project page, which is going to contain the outline that students will use. Again, here is the model. So students will complete this outline to prepare for their persuasive letter or email. Um, so one possible scaffold and differentiation point here is to include um, some sentence starters. Let me move my camera here to include some sentence starters for the different components of the outline. So for example, this is asking for an explanation. If students see this and think, I'm not sure what you mean by that, you can have something ready to show them of how they could begin to express their explanation of um, the data, because the explanation correspond to the different data points. Similarly, if they get down to the part saying proposal, and they're saying, what does that mean? What do you mean by proposal? Um, here you might have something like a follow-up question, a, a question for clarification. Um, so what should the city do or create to solve the problem that might help move their thinking along? And then again, with um, the component of reason, why would this particular proposal work? You could provide them again with some sentence starters to um, kind of help them along with expressing their thinking. So hopefully this video has been helpful to give you an overview and an orientation towards the flow of the lesson to help you start thinking as well of how you might differentiate the different moments of the lesson for your students. And please don't forget on the last slide, you're going to have a QR code to complete a feedback form for the design team, giving them any input about what has been helpful or what additional supports would help you implementing these units with your students. Thank you so much and have a good time with day five.